My other text option besides multi-line text is single line text or dtext. This command can be found on the home tab if I look under annotations next to multi-line text I have a button for single line text. It can also be found on the annotate tab under text I have a button for single line text. You can also type text on uh, on the command line and it starts single line text. It wants me to specify a start point for the text. I can click on the screen and then it asks me to specify a height. Uh, the default is two tenths of an inch. I'm going to accept that, specify a rotation angle and the default is zero and I'll accept that. Now you can see the blinking cursor where I can start entering text. As I type, my line expands. When I get to the end of the line, I can hit enter and keep going. And it looks like it's text wraps just like my multi-line text, but the difference is each one of these lines is going to be a separate entity. When I hit enter and have a blank line, I can now have to hit enter again to end my text command. And while we made those all by hitting enter each time, you'll notice that each one of these acts as a single entity. Each one can be moved, edited, and changed independent of the others. To edit my single line text, Go on top of the text with your cursor and double click. This starts my DD edit command, which I can use to, to edit in place my single line text. This is all selected. If I start typing right now, it will overtype this entire line. I can also edit just by clicking in the box and using my arrow keys or my delete key and edit it like I would any other word processed um, set of characters. To end my editing, I hit enter. But you notice that while I'm done with this single line, my DD text editor continues. So I could choose another line and edit that. When I hit enter, I still am in editing. I have to hit enter twice in order to end my edit command. I also have some other options for editing this text. If I double click and launch, launch my text editor and then right click the mouse, I can cut, copy, and paste. I can work with my editor settings, check spelling. I can insert fields to, for associative information. I can change the case, for example, if I wanted this to all be uppercase. And again, I have to hit enter twice to end my editing commands. Another way that I can work with editing the properties of my single line text would be to click on the text so that the blue grip shows up, right click, and choose properties. In my properties palette, under text, I have all of the basic properties associated with this one line of text. So here is its actual contents, and this could be changed from here. Uh, the text style applied to this particular text. Uh, also, whether or not it's annotative. The justification can be changed. Right now it's justified left, and the justification is in terms of its initial start point. So if I said justify right, you notice it changes it to the other side of its start point or justify center would center it on that start point. I could change the height, I could change the rotation and you notice that the point of rotation is its insertion point or start point. So any of these things can be changed directly off of my properties palette and I can use it as an editing tool. 
Let's look at an application for text. Here I have a title block and I want to enter some single lines of information. When I set up to do text, my best practice is that text should be on its own layer. Also, I should have some text styles in my drawing that I can choose from so that I can uniformly uh, format my text. I'm going to go to the Annotate tab and from my text style drop down I can see that I have um, several different styles. I'm going to choose TB2 as my text style. Then I can choose single line text for my text menu. I'm going to put in the name of the company so I'll click in this box. It wants me to specify the rotation. It didn't ask for the height because I'm using a text style where the height has already been indicated. In this case, I'm going to put the name of the company, hit enter, hit enter again, and now I've entered my text. To do a little editing on this, I'm going to double click, right click the mouse, and I'm going to change the case to all uppercase, and the size is not right. So I'm going to hit enter twice to end my, my uh, single line in place editing. Click on it once, right click, and go to properties. In the properties I can change the style. And instead of TB2 I'm going to take TB3, which looks like a better fit. I can then, with my grip, center this into the space where I want it to go. Next I'm going to enter the drawing number and I would like that to be centered and starting from the right side. So I'm going to change the justification. First I'll click on my single line text. Now before I click on my starting point I'm going to right click the mouse and I have some options. I can justify or change the style right now before I start entering the text. Let's choose justify and this is going to be um, middle right so it's going to be centered up and down uh, from the right and then I'm going to find my uh, midpoint project a line a little ways this way and click. Uh, my rotation is going to be zero and the uh, drawing number 242-208 enter enter and you can see by choosing my justification before I started I was able to use an object snap to center that uh, in the middle of the of the text box uh, in my title block. 